Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm doing a little bit more work today with syllable stress and I'm focusing this video on numbers because it sometimes, actually a lot of the time, English numbers can be pretty confusing. And a lot of my students will ask me to repeat numbers over and over and over, especially when you're on the phone and you're somebody's trying to give you a phone number. Now this happens for native English speakers too. There are many times that I am on the phone and I need to clarify with what I'm saying. If somebody says, I have 18 cases of parts, okay? I say 18 or 80. So you can have 80 and 18. They're so close. The spellings are very, very close. Let me show you an easy way to figure out how to differentiate or hear the differences in those two, okay? So this is 40. And this is 14. The first thing is that with this T sound in 40, in American English, in American English, we make that T sound a D. So you'll hear me say 40, 40. So this sounds like a D, 40, okay? Now, when I have this word, which is this, you know, it's very similar, we have 14, 14. So what happened there? Am I saying 14? No. I'm pronouncing this T as a T, 14, okay? That's the first thing that you should know. This one, so that's gonna happen the same way if I say 90, 80, 20, actually I just said it wrong there, 20, okay? So I'm actually not even usually saying the D sound, 90, 80, 20. So in this 20, I'm actually not even saying T or D, I'm saying 20. 20. Okay? Like the sound isn't even there. 20. Now with the teens, 14, 19, 18, I am pronouncing that sound. I'm saying it clearly. 14. 14. Let's do a couple more. 18. So the, so the T is strong, and it's a, it's a, it's a normal T sound, um, and the stress has changed. So the stress in this word is right here, 40. So you're doing that stair step, 40, okay? The stress over in this word is on the second syllable, 14. So we're going up at the end, 14. So those two things are different, okay? You pronounce the T in the teens, and you change the stress. And those two pieces will help your English sound way more clear when you're talking with numbers in English, okay? Let's do a couple practices with dates and phone numbers and years, and that'll help you guys feel a lot more comfortable when using English numbers. So I have two years here. Let's practice these together. We say this 1990. So you're kind of grouping those numbers together. So I'm not saying 1,990, no. You can say that, it's not incorrect, but most people just say 1990. Now you'll notice that what I was just teaching you guys about the stress in the teens that is on that second syllable, it changes a little bit when you've got another word after it, okay? So if you hear me say 1990, we're kind of, the, the syllable stress kind of changes. So we're stressing here and here. So this one got changed because this one is here. Okay, 1990. 1463. 1463, okay? We're doing this, 1463. 1463. Okay, another cool thing to learn about is how we group numbers when we're talking in, about phone numbers, okay? So in the United States, which is where I live, um, we group things um, like this. So this phone number would be said 1-800-321-0009, okay? Very clear. So we group things as, this is the... Um, the long distance code. 
This is like the area code. These are not real numbers though, so please don't call them. I just created them. Three, two, one, those are individual numbers. And then zero, 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 nine. On this last pair, or excuse me, on the last four digits of each phone number, many times you can um, group them into twos. I'll show you what I mean. So this one would be one, four, oh, nine. And in English, we can do O in numbers. We can say 409, but many people will say 409, okay? So that's just kind of a weird English thing that we say. 409, 543, 1272. Try it for yourselves, you guys. 1, 409, 543, 1272. Now you can say each individual number, that's totally fine. You could say 1272. One, two, seven, two, okay? With that same rhythm. Or 1272. 1272, 12, okay? All right, good work, you guys. Here's our last practice, you guys. I'm gonna give you some number words, and I want you to take a piece of paper and write those down. Okay, this is how we learn, is by writing things down, listening, practicing, writing it down, okay? So, number one is 50. 50. Number two, 14. 14. Number three, 13. 13. Number four, 40. 40. Number five, 19, 19. And the last one, number six, 18, 18. Okay, let's see how you guys did. Okay, you guys, behind me I have the answers. I hope you guys did really well on this. Go ahead and check your answers. Number one, I said 50, 50. Five zero. Number two, 14. 14. Number three, 13. 13. Number four is 40. 40. Number five is 19. 19. And the last one that I said for you guys was 18. 18. All right, you guys, well, thank you so much for joining. I hope that this helps you. Please go ahead and subscribe or like us on YouTube. Join me over at Facebook at Go English Coach 1. Check me out on Instagram, Go English Coach. And I look forward to meeting, talking, and learning with you guys going forward. Have a great day. Bye.